Now, the government has extended the time limit for the Interfaith Council up to December 31st, 2021, confirming the move Cabinet Secretary for Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government, Dr. Fred Matiangi, said the religious leaders have been key players in the fight against COVID-19 disease. This as religious leaders in the red zone counties have been urged to be patient as the government further engages the Interfaith Council. Chief Administrative Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Dr. Masi Mwagangi, said the situation in the 13 counties remains critical and they are currently focused on managing the spread of the new variants. extending the life of the IFC until 31st of December uh, 2021 so that we can continue this collaboration as, as, uh, as we work together. And we believe that we are going to, in a much more institutionalized manner, both ourselves at the Ministry of Interior and our colleagues at the Ministry of Health, we have developed a much more institutionalized way of now working more directly with the IFC as we go forward. We ask our religious leaders patiently to continue following these measures that have been given as we look into what we are able to accommodate. And as we all know, uh, there is also always the line of the live streaming, which uh, continues in this time with the 15 that we've always had uh, accepted in that live streaming. And in this context, uh, with a very, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the times we are trying to still reach with creative ways all our congregants. And one key thing of concern for us is the Delta virus. And so what we are doing in the 13 counties is that we've mounted a key surveillance response that is focusing on genomic sequencing. We have our labs there, particularly the Camry lab, that is picking samples so that we can establish um, the number of you know, Delta virus cases that may be there. And what is of concern and of importance, and particularly to those who reside in those 13 counties, is that we have been able to pick out cases of the Delta virus, and it is important for us to ensure that we really adhere to these measures because we want to prevent community transmission.